Hi guys, this is The Advisor and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to relate the extremely sad and tragic story of Kylie Sorrells, nine-year-old Kylie Sorrells who was shot and killed by her, or her mother's ex-boyfriend. And even though Jeremiah Jones, who pulled the trigger, that piece of slime that pulled the trigger and that little nine-year-old girl and executed her in the presence of her mother just because the mother didn't want him anymore. I still do not blame Jeremiah Jones for this act and I think this little girl's death is laid, I laid squarely at the feet of the mother. Now, it may sound a bit confusing because here I am, I just said that um, this gentleman executed this nine-year-old girl in front of her mother and then again I go on to say I don't blame him and I lay the blame at the mother's feet. Well, I'm going to explain what I mean. But before I do that, I'm going to let you listen to this clip from KPRC Channel 2. But we begin right now with some breaking news in the shooting that left a nine year old girl dead and her mother injured in the Heights area. Houston police say they have made an arrest in the case. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I'm Daniela Guzman and I'm Christine Noel. The suspect identified as 22 year old Jeremiah Jones was arrested earlier this evening. Police arrested him. 22 year old Jeremiah Jones accused of killing a nine year old girl. Kylie Sorrells is dead, shot, Houston police say, by Jones, her mother's ex-boyfriend. Jones is also accused of shooting mom. Brittany Sorrells will survive, live without her girl. Police rushed to Sorrells' apartment overnight on the 400 block of Oxford at the Katy Freeway in the Heights. It was there, police say, Jones intentionally killed Kylie. After they say he arrived at the apartment, got into an argument with Sorrells, walked into a bedroom where the little girl was, shot her because he could, authorities say. Now, you, there are several extremely vital factors to take into consideration why I have arrived at this conclusion. And now, let, let us begin from a point. Brit Brittany Sorrells, which is the mother of the, the um, now deceased Kylie Sorrells. Her mother is called Brittany Sorrells. Now, Brittany Sorrells, one is Brittany and one is Brittany. Now, Brittany, which is the grandmother of the deceased child, was never married. So, how comes Brittany Sorrells was never married but gave birth to Brittany Sorrells who was never married, who gave birth to Kylie Sorrell, who is nine years old. Well, let me explain. Brittany Sorrell, the grandmother of the deceased, she got pregnant and did not know who the father of her child was and therefore she had no reason, she had no daddy to give the baby and therefore she registered the child in her own name. Now her daughter, Brittany Sorrells, she also had her first child and did not know who the father was and had to give the child her own name. But stick up in there. She actually knew who she, who she thought was the father and the father was supposed to be a man named Horace Clemens. And at the time, he was um, about 51 or 52 years old when Britney was still quite just early 20s. But he was a head of a gang, a drug ring there in Houston, Texas. And if this murderer, drug ring leader, said, don't put the child in my name, there was no way she could have done that or she would have been dead. So, Kylie Sorrells, was born without a father. So she took 
also her mother's name. So you see where the generational curse starts? Now, Brittany Farrells, which is the mother of the deceased, she has three daughters. Now, the, her second daughter, her, the father of her second child is also dead. But he was a gangster and he was killed by his own gangster um, members of his gang because they went on some kind of a robbery or some drug hit and it seems that the funds didn't share properly and they killed him. Now, the mother of her third child, her last daughter, her third daughter, she, her father, is in prison for a, serving a life sentence for a double murder. And guess who she picked next for her boyfriend? She picked Jeremiah Jones, who is a problem child from birth. Records show that he has been in the criminal system from the age of 14. So far, he has racked up about 16 or 17 charges against him. And up to the time when he um, did this ghastly deed, he, was, he had five separate cases in court for five different separate offensive offenses all of which were committed when he was on bail for the previous offense. And that is what she took up and decided to take into her life. So it was clear that this person was not even a good mother and she set up her child for death. The thing is, there is she, she don't want anybody decent. She don't want anybody respectable or who who abides by the law. She goes for the worst pieces of scums that she can find. Because that's the only thing that turned her on. I have a song in Jamaica, you know. Say, gunman in she hole, gunman in she hole. Well, listen. These people like this. Like this. How should I say? F females like this. Doesn't want anything but a piece of slime inside her kitten. Because she was socialized to stay beyond the pale. Now, now she had broken up with um, Jeremiah Jones about two months before. And he had been sending her constant threats, constant threats, telling her that he's going to kill her. And she kept reporting it to the police, but she never expected um, that he would necessarily carry it out. On the night of the incident, he came to the house came to her house and him decided that since you're not coming back to me, I want my television set. So he came in the house while she, well, Br Brittany was in the house with her three daughters laying in bed, watching TV. He came and he ripped the LCD TV off the wall and said he wanted. So she said, listen, all right, you want it? Go on with it. Go on with the TV. So him get back and say, all right, since you're not coming back to me, and this is not touching, this is not affecting you. What he did, he got into the room where her daughter was and just took out his gun and put two in her head. When he did that, he come back out into the living room where, where our Brittany was and he shot her in her shoulder and then left. Now, you might understand what's the logic. If he had a problem with the mother, why go and dirt the innocent little girl? And there's a logic. You, you have to understand the rationale behind it, you know. You see, killing Brittany was too easy. She would just die without suffering. You know, and I, there's a saying, you know, death is no revenge. And I agree. If I want to hurt a person and I just dirt them in a few seconds, what have I done? really hurt them they've gone to a better place because i feel being in a state of nothingness to me is a better place than being a in a in a place of something what jeremiah jones wanted to do was to have her live the rest of her life and suffer because he know that she loves her daughter 
And that every waking moment for the rest of her life, if she lives for another 50 or 60 or 70 years, she will be yearning for her child and mourning for her child. That's why when he, when he um, killed the child and he come back out into the living room, what did he do? He just shoot her in the shoulder. Because he said, all right, I'm going to show you that I'm not even going to do more than, but I feel vindicated now that you're going to spend the rest of your life in agony. You're going to live, and you're going to live in agony, and you're going to live your yearning for your child. You see how wicked the man is? But before I go any further, I have another point to make. But before I make that point, I want to, you to listen to this interview. It's from Fox 26 News, and this is Kylie's grandmother, that a Brittany's mother. And I want you to listen to these words. Well, first tonight, we are learning and we are hearing from the grandmother of a nine-year-old girl who was shot and killed Monday night. The girl's mom was also shot, but survived. Fox 26's Domily Keith joining us live from downtown Houston, where the mom's ex-boyfriend is now in jail, charged with Kylie's murder. Yeah, and Kylie's grandmother is speaking out for the first time, even as more details about that tragic night are now being released. It's just a hurtful process at this time, and we're devastated. In fact, Tracy Sorrell says her heart is broken after her daughter Brittany was shot in the shoulder and survived, and her granddaughter Kylie was shot in the head and killed. It's a nightmare, not sleeping, not eating. This grieving grandmother says she plans to fight for a law to be put into place in her granddaughter's honor that would make the punishment for repeated threats carry the same weight as if they actually carried it out. She reports the threats. You're saying if there was a law in place that would crack down on even threats, she, right. her, her daughter would have been saved. Your granddaughter would have exactly. been saved. Exactly. No, you, you heard what she said. She wanted to fight for a law to be put into place to make people who make repeated threats be treated as if the act was actually carried out. Ah, oh, well, well, fair enough. But, lady, lady. Look for you. You're in your 50s. And look at you. Look at you how you look. Like in a $2 prostitute. How about a law that makes you stop wearing sheaves of black plastic on your head? How about making a law that stops you from putting a line of hairbrush bristles over your eyelid? And again, how about a law that makes it illegal for your daughter and others like her to stop grinding scums of the earth like Jeremiah Jones? Guys, I'll say this, you know. And I mean, I, 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 it, it is a harsh reality. But I'm going to say it. Maybe it is a blessing that this little girl left so early. Because I am quite sure that within the next year, Within a year or two, 18 months max, I would give this mother to start putting out this baby to be used by other arm, um, by other slimes within gangs. I'm quite sure she would do that. And with the sort of nurturing, with, with what she is and what she, her life is, I'm quite sure that she would end up, this little girl would end up becoming just like her very likely now you can know a lot about a person's mindset from how they carry themselves or how they choose to appear in public now look at Brittany's face look at the long sheaves of plastic that she have covering her head which looks so unreal on a black woman now look at the eyelashes the eyelashes no look I wanted to take a look at this picture. This is a picture of a tiger moth's larvae. This is a caterpillar. And what she have over her eyelash looks very much like she could have put two tiger moth um, larvae caterpillar over her eyelids. It looks so unreal. It is so unnatural. Why would you do that? What kind of attention you would expect to draw? And could, you, could she ever have attracted a decent man or a high value man? It is impossible. So she dressed like trash and she ascribed and is totally enamored by trash. 
just like what she is. And the mother is no better, and maybe the grandmother was no better. And this is the generational curse that would have followed poor little Kylie into her, her future and into adulthood, more than likely. Well, having said that, not that she could have gotten a, 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 um, um, a high-value man anyway. Because a high-value man looking at her, if a high-value man is looking at her, no high-value man is going to actually take her up. Because once they look at that, that is not something that any high-value man would even want. And we've got to understand that. Okay? So, guys, you decent guys, if you have any decency, say you're decent but you're naive. If you go on the road and you see something like this, you know what you do? So what about this one? Run, don't run, what? Run, definitely run! As we say in Jamaica, take your foot in your hand. The sad part is that there are so many of this type of creatures running around the country, running around especially western countries, particularly the United States, and even right here in Jamaica. And as they say, a word to the wise is sufficient. Guys, like, share, leave a comment below, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.